our next topic in the playlist would be taxiway center line lights so these lights shall be provided on all type of taxiways and deicing deicing facilities and aprons that are intended to use whenever the rvr is less than 350 meters and these center line lights are aimed to provide continuous guidance between the runway center line and the aircraft stands moving on the taxiway center line lights on a taxiway other than exit taxiways and on a runway forming part of standard taxi road shall be fixed lights showing green now if we talk about the exit taxiways that include the normal exit and rapid exit taxiways alternate taxiway center line lights shall show green and yellow from their beginning near the runway center line to the ILS MLS critical area now keep in mind the first light in the exit center line shall always show green and the light nearest to the ILS MLS critical area that shall always show yellow moreover the taxiway center line lights on a straight section of a taxiway should be spaced at a longitudinal intervals of not more than 30 meters and taxiway center line lights on a rapid exit taxiway should commence at a point at least 60 meters before the beginning of taxiway center line and should be spaced at longitudinal interval of not more than 15 meters moreover the taxiway center line lights on normal exit taxiways should commence at a point where the run, where the taxiway center line marking begins the lights should be spaced at longitudinal interval of not more than 7.5 meters i hope that is clear thank you and stay tuned for further